seeing all the cool different like machinery and just like even understanding how the farm works and all that goes into it. Well, I think it's a really cool opportunity that we're able to connect with how our food gets to our plate and understand how much work is put into it. The costs, like how many acres she even has, like, and like the different like rules and like types of um, sprays, like when the airplanes are flying over, like the sprays they use. I was surprised how much math and science goes into being a farmer. It makes me want to have my own farm someday after being here. The Adopt-A-Farmer program gives um, farmers the opportunity to reach an age group that is absorbing everything that they're hearing. And if we allow their only source of information to be Food Inc. and the internet, then our futures are in jeopardy. By targeting them now, they, they have a better understanding than when they go to make their decisions at the grocery store or help their parents do the grocery shopping. They'll look and say, oh, I know, the, I know where that food came from. I know that farmer. And, and, and it, it just didn't just show up in the, in the grocery store. There's families working hard every day to, to grow that food for us. It allows the kids to see what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, and it allows us to interact with them, and hopefully we'll have a positive impact on them for the rest of their lives. The neat thing is when they go back, we have a chance to talk about what they experienced at the farm, and this trip has been fantastic for them. They've come back and they've said how much fun the day was, how much they love interacting with Molly, and she's real with them. She doesn't, you know, she doesn't hold anything back, and she engages them very well. If we want Oregon agriculture to continue to flourish, then we need to take this opportunity to tell our story, and the Adoptive Farmer program does just that. And you can talk about the science behind farming, you can talk about everything that goes, goes into growing a crop or raising animals and, and production of all of it, but until they come out and they actually see it and they get to smell it and they get to hear it and or be allergic to it uh, in some cases, uh, you know, it really, it really sends a message home to them. If you can get kids to go home and have those conversations with their parents, then everybody, the message just spreads like wildfire fire about what's really going on with farming, what are the issues around pesticides use, what are the issues around organics, and, and all the other things that go on that Molly's been talking to the kids about. I tell my mom everything like about my site visits because they're so cool for me. A lot of my friends that don't go to my school think it's amazing that we're able to go on all these site visits and this one will be really great because going to a farm is not something you do every day. So it's a really cool thing that we able, we're able to do and I definitely will share it. So the fact that you helped pay for our buses to get out here make it possible, otherwise we couldn't come. The Adoptive Farmer program started with just three schools and three farms and this coming year we are looking at having 25 different uh, schools and farmers paired up together. And they're trying to get a better understanding and they're trying to find a balance in information and I, and I think that's fantastic that these middle school kids aren't just hearing one side and taking it and running with it. They're trying to find, find the balance. When we talked this morning before we came out about farmers being the first uh, conservationists, that if they don't take care of their land, then they have no land to farm. And that really resonated with the kids around the theme of sustainability. You never know what kind of flame you're going to ignite with these kids. The more research and knowledge that they gain by doing projects like that, I think it's, it's better for us. I mean, who knows, maybe they'll be in research someday helping the farmer figure out those problems. We should all thank them because what they do, like, they don't have to be farmers. It's a great thing that we're able to get fresh fruit and vegetables from our state and know that that's exactly where we're from. I don't have to worry about like getting sick or not having food on my table every day because I know people like Molly are providing food for me. The Adopt-A-Farmer program is funded through the support of the Agribusiness Education Corporation. Contributions to this foundation are tax deductible, so help engage our next generation about the important role of Oregon agriculture in providing food and fiber around the world. Make a contribution today.